Hello and welcome. This is Jennifer White. I'm coming to you from Berlin Lake Trail in Deerfield Township. We're going to take a little hike on the trail today. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite parts of this section of trail. We are actually at the Kirkbride Road trailhead. Okay, before we start our walk today, I just want to remind everybody that it is so important right now that we all practice good physical distancing as we're using our parks and our trails. We're seeing a lot of folks that are out and about enjoying the parks, enjoying outdoors uh, during this stay-at-home order time, but in order for that to continue, we need everybody's cooperation. We're all in this together, and so please make sure you maintain that at least six feet of distance between you and uh, anybody that's walking with you who is not part of your household. Um, so we really appreciate your cooperation in that. It helps make it a safe place for everybody to enjoy and to be able to continue to enjoy. You are going to notice a ton of bird noise, which is great because uh, there is so much habitat here. For those of you who joined me on the Dix Park Walk, you know I talked about edges and Berlin Lake Trail from front to uh, bottom, top to bottom, is a great example of different edges and edge habitat. Remember, edge habitat is when you've got different land uses that come together, and those places where they join are edges. So in this case, we've got some productive agricultural fields, we have some scrub shrub areas, we're gonna have some lakeside areas, some wooded areas, and so that combination of many different habitats in one spot leads to a increase in the diversity of bird species that we see. With the exception of the bridge on the Berlin Lake Trail, the trail surface is limestone, so it's great for both walking and for biking. And in the winter, when we have snow, it's good for cross-country skiing. Berlin Lake Trail is considered an e-bird hot spot. What that means is that there is a high number of different bird species that have been spotted here on this trail. In fact, if you go to ebird.org and search for Portage County, Ohio, you'll find that the Berlin Lake Trail is the number one e-bird hot spot with a total of 198 species identified here. So if you're into birds and you have not visited this trail, you want to get yourself and your binoculars out here. You'll notice as you walk along the trail here that edge habitat converging, like I mentioned before. So we have some vernal pools that you'll see along the sides of the, the trail. And then pretty soon you'll start to see it open up to the lakeshore edge. The water's pretty high right now because we've had a lot of rain recently, but there are a lot of little mud flat areas that open up as soon as the water levels go down a bit. And that provides another layer of habitat for shoreline birds and pipers and plovers. All of those things contribute to the high number of bird species that we tend to see over the course of the season along this trail. There are benches that are located at various spots along the trail, as well as a few fishing access trails that'll take you down to the shoreline of the lake so you can you can fish. In fact we'll go down one of those to give you a closer view of the lake. Right here is one of those fishing access areas. So this little trail will take you right down to the edge. Like I mentioned earlier the water levels are pretty high today. Normally we can get even closer to the edge of the, the water line. Okay, here we are back up on the main trail. So as we get closer to the second bench on the trail from the Kirkbride Road parking lot, you'll get a view of the bridge. We also, also start seeing views of the lake. Now Berlin Lake is a reservoir 
and the dam on Berlin Lake backs up the Mahoning River to create the reservoir. That dam is maintained by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. On our hike today, we're only going to go to the end of the bridge and back. But remember that if you want to do the full 2.2 miles of trail, you can go all the way from State Route 14 to State Route 224. And here we are at the Berlin Lake Trail Bridge. As we come up to the bridge, there's a section here for even short people like me to be able to look out and have a free, unobstructed view of Berlin Lake Reservoir. For safety purposes, we have the fencing up along the bridge itself. But again, there are opportunities for an unobstructed view across the lake. We are headed back to the parking lot now on Kirkbride Road, headed back across the bridge. Thank you for joining me on the hike today as we explore the southern end of the Berlin Lake Trail. I hope that you'll come out and enjoy this trail as well as any of our Portage Park District parks and trails. Please remember as you're out enjoying it to keep that safe six foot or more distance between you and anybody that's not in your household. Um, we are all in this together and it's our responsibility to keep each other safe and to respect those boundaries. So I look forward to giving you a wave um, and a hello out on one of the trails.